Mm -hmm. And that is how I start my day every single day. I don't know where I picked it up from, but it's all about little wins. Now, I used to get up, start a new dawn and a new day and just go, eh, I'll do whatever today. But I wake up and I've got a few things that I do every single day, like make the bed, something dead simple as a task to make sure I get done. And honestly, as soon as I've got those done, I'm ready and active to start my day and make the most of this beautiful weather. But that said, my boy Steve, ow is one of those beautiful things that needs taken care of because look at you, ain't, ain't nothing more beautiful, no more beautiful than you. And as we approach the bearded dragon, he is already foaming at the mouth. That's actually, his. don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. When we catch Stephen in the feeding zone, he has just found himself a locust. He thinks it's absolutely delicious, grabs another one, and will he go for the final kill? We zoom in to see Stephen's face peeling and his nostril hanging out of his nose. What's that? He seems to have seen it. He seems to have seen the food. Do it. Do it. <laughs> well, that's my tasks done for this morning. Get up, empty the dishwasher, feed Steve. Um, and as much as today's usually like my vlogging day, I'm not allowed to play outside today. Mm -mm. Instead, I come upstairs, I come into my office, I press this power on button here, and I sit in front of this setup for probably um, 12 hours. That's right, so when I've not been vlogging, and the days when I'm not doing vlogs, I'm currently live streaming, playing video games and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to find me on twitch.tv forward slash syndicate, you can tune in. We do a lot of like other things other than, you know, like just playing video games. There was this random instance that we had where um, I found this guy on Twitch who was this amazing musician. I was like, can you play Darude Sandstorm? And he played Darude Sandstorm, but on a cello. Let's go. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dude, he's legit making the whole thing. I thought he was just gonna do the cello. Go and send him love right now. And then if you thought that wasn't good enough or even impressive that he made it from scratch, he then just started like jamming away listening to music and was listening to things like Billie Eilish or Eyelash, what, whatever you call it. But like, even that was amazing. Oh my God. Do I sit here playing video games like a fucking pleb when people like this exist? Wait, oh. <laughs> but that's when I got into the swing of things of just being a little bit distracted on Twitch and just cruising around the website to the point where I found a woman who was painting pots and I went in and was like, I would like to buy your pot. Turns out she actually had an Etsy. Now, as we guys know, like COVID's been just tough on absolutely everyone and all that sort of stuff. So I want to start doing more things to like support like local or small businesses and things. Um, and I decided that seeing as though her Etsy store, everything was handcrafted as like one of a kind, that um, we'd buy out the entirety of her Etsy shop. So we did it, we bought absolutely everything and uh, I might give away a few of the items that I bought from there uh, on here. So if you guys would like a nice little hanging decoration or a plant pot, I'm your guy, I'm the man with the pot. Wait, don't, don't tell the police that. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> out all my shop. <laughs> Thank you so much. That honestly is so kind of you and I, I, it means so much to me. So I really appreciate it. I legitimately <laughs> bought. Packaging it all up for you and sending oh. it. Oh. <laughs> so nice of you. And it's going to be a nightmare. I just bought everything from the store. <laughs> Look, I'm a, everything is sold on your shop, Rosie. Syndicate bought it all. There we go. And now you can't even write this. So I just got done finishing telling you guys about like on Twitch, about the plant pots, the guy with the cello, it was awesome. And even in this vlog, I just fed Steve. Well, what I failed to mention because I completely forgot about it was I found this guy who was doing paintings and stuff like that. And I wanted to go and see if we could commission him to do some artwork. Well, as I jumped in the chat to say, hello, how are you doing? It turns out he was a long time fan.
And this is said guy, James, also known as James B. Barrow, who's a painter on Twitch, who's absolutely incredible. You may notice he is painting Steve. I, you can't make it up. I jumped in just to be like, hey, just cruising around Twitch. He recognized me. And then I was like, oh my gosh, if he watches all the videos and all that sort of stuff, I was like, could you paint Steve? And he was like, I'd love to paint Steve. So lo and behold, he's painting Steve. When I get a final like finished product of it and he sends it over sort of thing, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. But just look at the detail he's going into, man. This is incredible. No, I know I'm going to have people looking at that going like, that looks nothing like Steve. But just wait, look, he's made progress. Probably like 30 minutes later. Look how good it's looking. <laughs> that is insane. And I've just got to point out. Not only is he painting Steve, but he's doing it wearing, look, a Life's Too Short Make the Most of It t-shirt, but it's a limited edition version. Yet again, another example of how amazingly talented this community we have together here is. Just honestly epic. But it's time to actually start our day now. I've only just tried to leave the house to go down and meet up with Alice and my dad and uh, we've hit the first snag of the day. Uh, got a package. Uh, on the side of it, it says fragile with a hole in it. <laughs> I'm actually going to try and guess whether or not this could potentially be the plates and stuff I ordered from the Etsy store. If it actually is, then this is amazing delivery time because, I've, like, like I said, I only just filmed doing that on Twitch yesterday, but we're in... <gasps> it is! Thank you for your order, a lovely day. It's from the shop that we bought our entire Etsy store. If she's managed to fit it all in here, that's amazing. And wait, she's put a letter. Syndicate slash Tom. Dear Tom, thank you so much for buying from my Etsy shop. Your support means a lot. Hope you enjoy your products and would love to know what you think of them. From Rosie. Well, Rosie, thank you very much. Oh, so I've not emptied them all yet because there's a lot of package in it. But look, I've got a little plant pot and I open little things. I can't go through all of them right now because I need to go. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the catalyst of the entire thing. I saw her paint in this plant pot and I was like, can I buy it? So she sold it me and then I just bought everything else. So Rosie, thank you so much. I'm going to put my little cacti in that. So appreciate you. All right, we're finally hitting the road and we're on the way to the one and only Viva La Grapes. Which seems to be on fire. I don't know if you can see this small on camera. Becky, is it burning down? What's going on? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He's back. Steven! <laughs> you don't get the pot, okay? Calm down, relax. First of all, hi Alice, nice to see you. You doing well? Here's a gift that I've brought you from the Etsy shop. The pot's mine, my cactus is going in it. But dad! The man of the hour. I love that. Look at you. How are you, boy? I tell you something. It was good to see you last time, but we're over you now. Look last at you. Do you look cool? How, good How you much look? have you changed? Got, no one's seen you in the vlog for about nine months yeah, or something. Ken, you've not, you've not got me in the vlog. What's with what's with the what's with the trim? If they'd known you were putting me in the vlog, so I'm gonna come properly prepared. Oh, he's come properly prepared. Look at him, isn't he? Dad, so you look amazing, cool. and it's your birthday tomorrow. You're turning sixty-six. Don't tell anybody. Do you feel old? I've got a bus pass now. Oh. you got a bus pass, have you? <laughs> Dad, let's just make this clear. We've not come here to see you today. No, 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 no. But the grapes have started doing food. That's what we're here for. Salt and pepper chicken, salt and pepper chicken, salt and pepper chicken, chicken goujons. We've got the cheesy... Buttermilk chicken. Buttermilk chicken. We've got the... the we added everything. Cheese. We've got the this and the prawns and the... And the it's just... Look at that. Oh, my God. Where's well, beautiful. So, uh, this new Call of Duty update is great, isn't it, mate? Fuck <laughs> off. We would actually be sat inside on a day like this, playing the new Call of Duty update, loving it, but it's been an absolute Still be shambles. Still being server queue. I didn't say it, he said it. So guess where we are? The pub. The pub. What time are you leaving? Why are you going on a bike ride with me, Dad? <laughs> Just stay instead and have a beer. I can't. Yeah, you can. I cannot physically. Yeah, it's my last Friday can. riding. Forever? For the duration of the summer, yeah. It's Friday, yeah. It's, it's Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday what? Come yeah, on. Table. Shit. <laughs> now, as lovely as that lunch was, um, I made one regret and one mistake. Um, yeah, I stayed in the sun for too long, so I'm very sunburnt. Oh dear. Oh, but we have to man up and deal with it right now because I'm gonna go and pick up my granddad. My granddad has not had his hair cut in. I have no idea how long, like, since lockdown has, like, been eased, you know, since the last time. So, going to go pick up my granddad now. We're going to catch up with him, see how he's doing, and then we're going to take him to good old boys to get his hair cut. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've all been asking, how's my granddad doing? You're about to see him and find out. But, yeah, you look like you've been left on a desert island. Hey, are you ready to come out looking like a brand new man? Yeah. Right, let's get in the car and get your hair cut. How have you been? 
Alright. Everyone at all my viewers have been asking how's granddad doing? You've been looking forward to a haircut by the looks of things. Granddad, I don't think I've ever seen it so long. No. <laughs> you know, you look like you've been electrocuted. <laughs> how you been though? You okay? Yeah. Happy to start seeing everyone again and stuff yeah. like that. Getting out yeah. to a bit of normality. Normality. Hey, how does a good fry up at my house? Or out at, oh, where's your, oh, that, I can't remember it. Where's your favourite cafe? That restaurant we'll go to for a full, full fry up. How does that sound? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That's what I like. You're looking good. You've got a belly on you again. You're not the skinny Gordon I once remember. You're looking well. You're looking fit. You're feeling strong. It's pretty strong. Hey, look in this mirror now. Look in this mirror. Yeah. Look here. No, here. Look at my finger. Look at look in the mirror. Look at yourself there. You're going to come out looking like a brand new gentleman afterwards, yeah? Yeah. So just remember this now, because oh. when you come when you come out of this now, you're going to look like a whole new man, okay? Okay. Let's go and get you an haircut, yeah, lad? Here we are, Gordon. Good old boys. Are we going in here? Left. Here you go, I got you, I got you. Here he is. Go ahead, lift that mask up, lad. Look at that, have you ever seen such a crazy old man with a haircut? Look at that. He looks like he's been electrocuted. Oh, mate. Scott, good to see you. Scott's first free appearance in the vlog. Dude, I like that, you look a bit Hannibal Lecter-ish. <laughs> hey, Gordon, Grandad. Look at yourself, you ready? In a minute, we're gonna do before and after, and you're gonna look like brand new. Are you ready? Right. Go on. <laughs> oh my god, mate, what have you fed your dog? He's got straight crack cocaine running through his system. He, god, oh my god, chill out, dog. Wait, Henry, 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 just say hello. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, what a little mad bastard. I've not seen you in so long. Oh my god. <laughs> Granddad. Introducing the brand new garden. Oh, mate, give me a high five. Quick, give me a hand. High five. Mate, you look like a new man. You look like a brand new man. Oh, my God. He's done the business, my friend. He's done the absolute business. What do you think? Yeah. Cracking, eh? I tell you what, good old boys, we love him. <laughs> look how good you look. Yeah. Isn't that better than before? Yeah. Hey, we're not going to let it get that long again, are we? No. No way. No way, eh? Hey. Look at you. You look beautiful. Hey, if I was a woman, I'd take you on a date. <laughs> Granddad, you look so good. Do you feel like new? Yeah. Oh, look at yourself. Look at, look at the camera. Look how good you look from before. Yeah. Night and day, that, innit? Oh. Yeah. If you would have robbed a bank, looking like you did before and walk past a police officer right now they wouldn't recognize you that night and day yeah you look that different it's unbelievable mate seriously <laughs> and as we prepare for the maiden voyage the pool cover comes off and ken will approach with his beautiful brand new board and attempt to ride the infinite wave machine are you ready are you ready? We're going to get the swimming machine going and we're going to get Dad on it. Um, I might have to put a bit of a blur on you now, Dad. Jesus! All right, Dad, get up and go. Go, Ken. Go, Ken. You... <laughs> this is brilliant. We've been joined by Marquez. Woo Can you believe our dad's 66? Unreal, isn't it? But he's 66 and he's still doing this. So we've actually got an infinite swim machine in it, so it's just pushing water towards the boat and he can just continuously keep going. Oh God, Alice is about to get a shock of a lifetime. <laughs> I offered! Gail, so we'd like to interview you. How do you feel about your husband, 66, uh, doing such a beautiful performance right now? Wearing those pants. You're a bit you wowed, aren't you? No. You're like, wow, that's mine. Please get some shorts. Where's your shorts? Here you go, you can have mine, Dad. You can have mine. What do you mean? I could have warned you. Hey, got to do what you got to do for your dad. Took me. He's trademarked. Hey, that's more like it. 
presentable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whatever you do, do not fall on the side. Is he signed the waiver? Is he signed the waiver? Is he signed the waiver? <laughs> I feel like we should give him a helmet. Whoa. So, uh, how did your dad break his head on his 66th birthday? Well, you know. Yeah. Who's that? You can do it, Kenny. You can do it. Yes. We're going to make a montage. A montage. Yeah, boy. Look, sick lad. Yeah, that, okay. This is, this is better. This is much better. Oh, no, Ken. The piranhas are coming for you. Quick. Wait. <laughs> We throw in the orca. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> now do you feel a bit more tropical? Oh yeah. I've got a sweat on now. <laughs> Is it a good birthday present, Dad? Oh, yeah. I'll use this. Hell yeah. Let's poke him off. Yeah. News just in. Tom's got shorts on. And apparently we've got another member on the board. Tuning in live now with Mark on the board. How's things going? <laughs> hey, pretty good birthday. It's it's right. birthday yeah. Let's get the barbecue on. Yeah. That. We're playing Carno. You've been for a swim. Free. Cool, that. Cool of fridge from the beers. Full of beers, full of Prosecco. Got everything we could possibly need. And we've got Mark in the board. background doing that. Gail, you're actually pretty good at this. Hang on. New pedals from the bike, up Hey! Alice. Not to mention that cake. It's nice to be back together, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Alice. Alice has made Dad a cake. Wonder how that's going to be. I need a drink. He does need a drink. One of them hats with beers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The beer hat. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Okay, time for my one job. Get these steak burgers on the barbecue and tasting good. Look at that steak burger from Limefield. Oh my lordy. Oh, look at that. Proper piece of kit. Oh, update. Oh, they looking pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. Viva la burger. Now, I have not paid to say this at all, but I will say this. If you are in the Greater Manchester area and you want literally the best farm food ever, Limefield Garden Centre is where I get these burgers from. They're amazing. Like, these steak burgers are probably like 10 out of 10 good. So if you ever fancy it, search Limefield in Broadbottom. Incredible. Ho, 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 ho. Viva la burger. And um, potatoes and egg. Mmm, very nice. What have you built there? We have a burger that. Right, I, I honestly want, I truly want your honest review of these. I think I've cooked this to perfection. Oh my God. Mm. How good is that? It's like 10 out of 10, isn't it? Very tasty. Oh yes. That's a loaded burger, well done. Now, Stephen, let's have a talk. You know that I'm your actual dad, but you wouldn't be in, the, in our lives if it wasn't for Ken. So let's go and say hello. Hi Steve. He's not seen you. In so bloody long, and if it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be in our lives, would he? You, you and Gail. Me and Gail got him. Yeah, yeah got me for my twenty-first birthday. Yeah. Dad, he's like a new, he's like a new bearded dragon. Why? You want to see him when he eats? He's a monster, mate. Yeah. He hunts it around the vivarium, and now you won't believe it, Dad. He eats greens. How old is he now? He devours them. Greens. They usually live until they're about ten, they say. He remembers he, me. Oh, aye. And you know what, right oh, now, he's, he's, how old is he? Uh, on my, he's going to be seven this year. Yeah, remembers me. Look at him. Oh, you remember the first uh, one? Nah, he's not growing anymore, he's still there. The first one he had done. Oh, tail look tail. at you two reunited. The first one, tail got chopped off. Yeah, right? got tail rot, yeah, the first what one. What you call him that? I can't remember. Spike, 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 Spike right, then yeah. Spike Junior, and both of them lasted two yeah. years each until Alice killed one of them. Oh, you had two Spike. And then, <laughs> and then we've had Steve for seven That's years. It. Stay there. All right, Steve. It's mad, isn't it? If it wasn't for you, Dad, I wouldn't have him. Me and Gail got him. <laughs> we love you, Stephen. On top of this, is like a bloody nightmare. Chicken thighs and the fucking prawns. We got the, the we got the sausages. We got the kebabs ready to go. Mm. You can't see fucking anything. Jeez. What do you think of the food, Mark? <laughs> ten out of ten. Mil. Is it that good? Oh yeah. Surf and oh. turf. Can't beat it. Oh shit. Hey bro. Like hey, bro. <laughs> You're in the prawns yet, bro? Good to see you, bro. You, bro. Have you had in the prawns yet? Yeah, bro. What are you saying out of 10, bro? Fucking 4 out of 10. The steak what the hell is that? Yeah, but the steak what? is fucking 12 out of 10, so balance it out. And it's like an 8 out of 10 dish, isn't it? All right, bro. Yeah, take that. All right, sweet. Yeah, bro. Well, you give the food. Do you like the food? Look at this. we got prawns. Oh, we got wow. we got chicken. Wow. Chicken? Wow. Is it good? Yeah. Have you tried it yet? Oh, he's eating it. What do you think? I think, you know what? 
What do you think? It's rocking, man. What do you think? I think it's chickens rocking, man. Oh! 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 He's 66. It's a vibe. Carl, why are you not dancing? Yeah, Carl, dance. Come on, Carl. The family's back together. We've, even Gail's vibing. Go on, Gail. Oh, Gail's vibing. Oh, we're vibing, we're riding, we're rocking and we're rolling. And as the sun is setting, we must change the attire to be a bit more appropriately. Totally underdressed it. I'm wearing shorts and it's just what it is. Mate, my arms are so burnt. It's not even funny. Oh, nice kayak, Dad. I'm so glad someone got that for you. But right, we got closed the doors. The heat from the pool is being lost. And I'm sure so many people will be watching this vlog now like, what, there's an indoor pool, what's going on? True story, this, um, I don't think I've ever told anyone this. So this actual indoor pool here was supposed to be a double garage. Supposed to be a double garage, but whilst I was in LA at the time, I had to be, happened to be at my friend Angelo's house and he had an outdoor heated pool. Now don't get me wrong, it's always hot in America. And I was like, that's fucking awesome. Wouldn't really exist financially uh, in the UK. So I was like, Dad, is there any way because I don't drive a car and uh, more so, I'm, I only ride motorbikes, more so the fact that I have the most dangerous drive in the world ever, like you couldn't fit any car down it without losing your bumper. Is there any chance we could turn the double garage into a pool? And he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. And lo and behold, indoor swimming pool. Might not be the biggest pool you've ever seen in your life, but I'm smart, smart. Infinite swim machine there, you can literally swim against it forever. The bigger the pool, the more it costs to run. Keep it really good, real sol solid size for parties. <sighs> You've seen the parties here, beautiful. And then infinite swim machine, can't, can't complain. Sauna, hot tub area there, <sighs> beautiful. Oh, this is gonna lay the base for a beautiful fire. You ready for it? I am ready for it. Mate, this fire tonight is gonna it's keep every- Look at that. Oh my it's God. Red. Whoa. That looks like, that looks like some of Star Wars. It's like an apocalypse. Duh, duh, duh. Did you really make this cake? Yeah. You made this cake? Yeah. Alice, what's in it? It's got jam in it and vanilla buttercream. Alice, it's bloody lovely, that cake. Happy birthday and everything. Thank you. Well done. Right, we're lighting it. You know what you're doing, right? No. Alice, Alice, don't burn down. A angle, angle. You'll be, burn it's the just a bit ridiculous, this. Don't use a blowtorch then. We've got matches. There we could have just got... Right, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Right, music, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Love like that, Alice. Wow, wow, angles, angles. Oh, hang on a minute. Can you hear it? What day is it? Can you hear it? I don't... Can you hear it? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Relight them all, quick. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, I missed that one. Oh shit, fucking. I burnt the house down. Happy birthday, Dad. You're 66 years old today. Make a wish. Wow, it's not like half of them went out already. Woo, super cake. By the way, Dad, Alice made the cake. Brilliant. Whoa! Brilliant. Wow. Introducing Ken Dodd, 66 years old and ready to rock and roll. Let's go, let's go. This is the real dad here now, come on now. Oh, snap. <laughs> no, I mean like, that was Now listen kids, <laughs> it's time to party, right? Here we go. Kids, <laughs> kids. Here we go. With all these flames this and smoke and what have you. Sam, you got off your ass and got out of there like an old girl. Oh, hold on a minute. Old oh, oh, you naughty girl, you no, dirty bitch. Dead. What's this about? Hey, Ken, I've got, I've, I've got a bit of leg out. On a serious note, oh, don't use the board. Thanks for turning up late, Carl. Oh. Alice, thank you for the cake. Thanks for the presents, Tom, Gail, Alice, and Carl. <laughs> I'm Mark, you know, what a, what a cracking day. Covid's been a shit year, but we got through it and here we are. And we've managed to have a, a, a reasonable do. Yeah, what properly done. Socially whether, 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 No, no, no. The, the, we followed all the things <laughs> in the garden and all that sort of stuff. And here brilliant. we are. And a socially distanced party. Fire pit. Well, we'll give that three out of seven. Whoa! It's only a 10 that line. Banging fire out, what are you talking about? Get me out. It took seven to get it started. Weather's been on our side and the drinks have been top, so thanks for hosting the party, Tom, for me. 
And thank you, Gail, for everything you've done for me. Hey, to 66 years of Kenneth Cassell, ladies and gentlemen. Years of legends. 66 years of Kenneth Cassell. What an absolute champion. Dilly dilly. Cheers. And you, I've dilly got one dilly. thing to say, and that is keep, ped keep, keep pedaling. Keep pedaling. And, hey. and just look at that view. Hey. How many Hashtag years later? Look say it? At that, just look at that view. Now, if I told you from that last clip, I enjoyed my night, it was lovely, and me and my brother Mark fell asleep outside in front of the fire till the early hours of morning, would you believe me? Spoiler alert, it's true because it actually happened. What a bloody lovely day that was. I knew we were going to get together with my dad, but I didn't know it was just going to be so nice to have all the family around. Just makes you appreciate life a little bit more coming out of like COVID lockdown and all that sort of stuff. So let's hope we just don't go back into full lockdown. But ladies and gentlemen, I must end this vlog. So if you've enjoyed it, you've enjoyed seeing all the family, you've enjoyed seeing Gordon, you know, when he's A-OK -okay with everyone reaching out, uh, you know, sending us so many lovely messages, checking up on him. I, I really do genuinely appreciate it. But yeah, he's all good. Uh, his dementia's still a bit of a bastard, but uh, you know, you just got to make sure he's a happy chappy. And that is the number one thing in the world. And you never know, soon, we may be on one of those planes traveling to a new destination. So until next time, guys, make sure you click that subscribe button, leave a like crane. Let's see if we can smash 10,000 like cranes. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Adios.